Good morning, convoy crazies. 6 of 5 a.m. Um, we're headed to the World War One Museum and then on to Olathe. We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. <laughs> but actually, yeah, we are. <laughs> March Unit 1, headquarters. Move out. Lead vehicle heading out of the fairgrounds. Thanks very much to uh, Brown County Fairgrounds. Unit yeah, it might be that I didn't get very much sleep last night, but that looks like a GPA to me. Well, it wraps around the bottom of the steering column and then runs through a series of pulleys down along here, back to the rudder. Okay. <laughs> Basically, all this, they said, well, no, you had an opportunity for another job and to stay with them, so it's, uh, yeah, but you were on full pay, so you had a six-month oh, vacation. I, I, I was yeah. doing nothing. <laughs> I was surfing. I was taking, me and three of my friends who owned a 25-foot Grady White, and I was going out fishing every, you know, a couple times a week. And Where was that? In Canaveral. No, no, when, when you got out in, the, in California, where'd you live? Oh, I, I had to move to uh, San Jose area. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> My my helper does that all the time. I, I tell him go out to the truck and get some, and the and the truck will automatically lock if it loses the fob. Oh, oh gee. And, and he'll go out there and, and reach in the window and. Not exactly the. <laughs> Uh, all the way up the top to the parking lot there. <laughs> hey, Kenny. Autobots assemble. Oh man, that thing sounds so good. Looks like there was a fire there. Jeez. Some neat old buildings in this town. Hey guys, Johnny here and the rest of Unit 4. 
just had our breakfast here at the VFW, and now we're heading down the road towards the National World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. We're gonna spend uh, probably most of the day there, and then from there we're gonna head on to Olathe, and I'm not sure where we're going, but follow the leader, Convoy Life. Yong Chang. <laughs> We got a couple minutes here and then we're gonna head out. Uh, let me know when the, I'll, I'll go out as soon as the green the light turns green. And then everybody keep it tight and because uh, we're under escort, so. So GPA and a WLA and a Humvee joining the convoy today. Thank you.
set out it looks like this is going to be a uh, and we need to let George get around so he photo can get up when we get up there welcome to KC Missouri Good folks job, ben. Hey, George we must have Brad Nelson to thank for this Hey guys, Johnny, Wild Bill, and the fine residents of KC, Missouri here, coming at you from the National World War I Museum, overlooking the city. We're here for a static display and a lunch. And uh, then it's going to be on to Olathe, 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 Kansas. I said this morning we're not going to be in Kansas anymore, but we're going back to Kansas. So what do you think? Go up there and see. They're going to beat us. Yeah, at noon. What, hold on. Yeah. 
Magnet, you might oh, yeah, I remember on the, him. Yeah. On the board. Right. You bet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Art and I go back so far, don't oh, we? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Do, do we ever. I mean, I got on the board somewhere back in the 90s, and you were already on, I think. Yeah. Gosh, wow. yeah, I can't believe Well, I drove on the Yeah. Nice little stop here at the National World War I uh, Museum. Had a nice lunch. And uh, it's about seven minutes to first gear, and we're going to head on to Olathe. Kerfuffle trying to get out of KC here. Been stuck at uh, this go, light for like go, George, go. three minutes now. Well, at least we moved up a little bit.
Leavenworth, Fort Scott, Military Road. Now, is it Latino Ethio Mart Mart, or is it Latino Mart Ethio Mart? That's the question. Barber nails. It's about a shit show trying to get out of this. Come on, Easy Trail. Come in. Yes, sir. You never know when you're going to show up on the episode. Mm-mm, good. <laughs> General, you hit the nail on the head there. Yep, yep. Did they say what kind it was? No. Nope. But it's, it's got it by look, so. Huh? That, that's right. And buttercream or something? officers training and we're there and about two and a half it's a three month thing two and a half months and they call us in there's 25 in our class <laughs> and they say here we're you can select where you want to go whether you have a two-year commitment but don't waste a choice on the Panama Canal or Hawaii. <laughs> I'm single. I want to go to Japan or Germany. Whatever. Right, right. right. So a few weeks later, I get a message in the mailbox. Report to the adjutant's office at your convenience. So I go there, and here's your orders. Fort Shafter, Territory of Hawaii. <laughs> you know, and you'd say, Fort Shafter, where the hell is that? Yeah. Territory of Hawaii. Yeah. Wow. Now, it's turned out with for the ASA, our Army Security Agency unit. So they use signal officers to fill the, the openings in the Army Security Agency. So their mission was to intercept radio transmissions from out, out in the Pacific, you know, mainly from Japan and all. So, but I didn't get in the technical area. I was a assistant company commander. We had two Army sedans. They were Chevrolets. All they right. were like 57 Chevrolets. Oh, okay, like a Bel Air. And, and a Bel -Air. driver. Yeah. And a driver. Wow. And the driver was for the colonel. He's the colonel's driver. The other one, I would drive, or I didn't drive. When it's payday, we'd go to a bank in town and get all cash. So we had uh, 45 or uh, uh, armed guard with me, 
And so then I paid the company out. So it was tough assignment. Then most of the other officers in the officers, the BOQ, bachelor officer quarters, were there were more generals on this post than there were lieutenants. <laughs> so every month they'd have an aloha party for the people, the new people coming in and the people leaving. You'd go through an a reception line, you know, and you go through that line. They look. They look at that second lieutenant bar and say, "Boy, oh, I haven't seen one of these in so long." <laughs> well, then you find out that there's a big uh, parade ground and these large two-story wooden buildings with nice big screened-in porches were where all the generals live. And they had a five-story, not a five, five-sided wooden pentagon, two two stories high, but it was five-sided, just like pentagon. And they had a four-star general, I.D. White, was a four-star general, and he was USARPAC, U.S. Army Pacific, that command. So I learned. In the BOQ, one of the other officers was a first lieutenant, I'm second, that they're going to Japan on uh, IG inspection. And so I'm due for a, a vacation time, leave. So I figured it out. I got orders cut to go on that, and it was a four engine, probably a C24 or something like that. 50. Yeah. So I'm the only guy in the army that went on leave to Korea and Japan, Okinawa. We stopped in Wake Island for gas, and then Okinawa for about three days, and then Japan, and back. And so I did all that on leave. Why does somebody stationed in Hawaii need to go on leave? I don't understand. <laughs> it's confusing to me. Art. Well, there's only so much you can do on that one island. Yeah. yeah. So I, I kind of did the same thing. I went to Panama Canal with our adjutant general. They were going out and visiting the troops, and it was like a two-day, three-day trip. We'd fly down like on a Friday morning and come back on Sunday night to the Panama Canal from Georgia. Really, from Georgia? <coughs> yeah, that, right. It was easy, you know, four or five, six Now, hours. you weren't at Fort McPherson, were you? No, sir, we were Georgia Air National Guard. Okay. C-130s. Well, right, yeah. But they had C-124s way before that, Yeah. 97. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The next one, any one you want, or I'm up here. The next one is 089. Ah! That's all we need. Get more stuff. Yeah. You just won. Draw your bag. Nine one, nine two, and nine three. That was not me. See, see.
four header, holy pokers. Yeah, pusher. At least one pusher. <laughs> 